Hey, what's up everyone? This is Comlox, and welcome to another bi-monthly visit from Barokatir. And yeah, this is the 81st rotation of 2018 on PC, and today he'll be on La Ronda Relay on Planet Mercury. So yeah, right off the bat we have the Viper Wraith, and this is kind of confusing at first because when I looked, I thought these were the twin Viper Wraiths, and I was like, what? Um, but yeah, this is kind of strange that they would release a single version of the Viper Wraith. Um, but yeah, from what I know, the twin Viper Wraiths were uh, previously a, an event weapon, and then later made available through invasions, which is pretty cool. But yeah, I'm actually kind of curious at right now, and I want to see how they actually compare to the twin Viper. Uh, so yeah, I actually want to... I'll just... I am link it really quick. So yeah, compared to the twin vipers, okay, so you do lose accuracy and you just basically gain a double magazine from 20 to 40. So there isn't really much of a difference except you just get enough, you just lose accuracy and you double your magazine. Uh, so yeah, so basically I guess the reason for the single version of the Viper Wraith is just increased accuracy. So yeah, that makes sense. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much mastery fodder at, at its best. But yeah, let's... Uh, might even do a um, alternative arsenal episode on this one. That's interesting though. Uh, we have the Volcar Wraith, which I know is a very solid sniper rifle if you're kind of tired of just using the Rubico and the Vectus, or even the Lanka, which are all really good weapons. Uh, I think the Volcar Wraith is a good alternative. Uh, we have, oh, and this batch of primed mods we have is actually pretty varied this rotation. And that's really good because usually it's all kind of in theme. Usually if, if one Bane mod returns, they like all return. But yeah, this is a good selection. So we have Prime Reach, which is really good for your uh, for builds for your for your staff weapons, which are really good. And some of the sword weapons that are that tend to be long, like the Galatine Prime, of course, or just the normal Galatine if you have the Galatine. But yeah, Prime Reach is very much worth it. It's really good for meta builds. We have Prime Morphic Transformer for Arc Wings. Uh, I haven't done Jorah's Verdict yet, but I know some of the builds require a Prime Morphic Transformer just to kind of uh, add survivability and strength to your Arcwing, of course. Um, we have Prime Cry Around, and we have Prime Bane of Corrupted. Between these two, to be honest, I would get Prime Cry Arounds first. Uh, I'm not really too... How do I say? Akin to the Bane mods. But they're still useful nonetheless, but this would be on the bottom of my list for this rotation. And we have Prime Continuity, which is uh, a hell yes to that, because uh, this is very important for, ed for end game builds for lots of <laughs> different Warframes, so yes. We have, a, we have the Argyle display, uh, if you want to fashion or interior fashion your ship. I don't know. I don't know what the word is for, for printing up your ship yet besides fashion framing. Uh, but yeah, these are cool. <laughs> uh, definitely not round or linearly square like most of your displays. But yeah, uh, we have the Scimitar Prisma skin, uh, which is just a Prisma skin. <laughs> uh, we have the Prisma Shade, uh, Mastery Fodder if you are still trying to collect Sentinels. Uh, we have the Prisma Mech Head, which I want to get because I actually do like Sentinels, and I haven't gotten this yet, so I'm probably going to get this rotation. Uh, the, we have the Prisma Jet Sentinel Wings. Uh, I never got this one because I just think it's weird, especially like as this placeholder Sentinel here, which is the Worm, it just looks really weird because it's a mechanical like, jet wing, and I think this probably looks better on like the more mechanical looking sentinels but on, on like like things like the worm or like the gin it'd just be too weird but it's cool i guess but i don't know i'll probably get that last maybe <laughs> uh and we have the prisma koi sentinel tail which i really don't have an opinion on yet i still have to like get this and just like try it on and see what i think but yeah i don't really have an opinion on this yet unfortunately but 
Uh, and we have the Redeemer Alexis skin, which is, I say, a yes if you do like using the Redeemer, and the Redeemer is a really good weapon. Uh, despite if it had any nerfs or buffs in the past yet, but this weapon I still is really good. Uh, I remember back early in Warframe, I used to use this weapon like relentlessly, I, like I cheesed through so much of the game with this weapon. Uh, but yeah, to know that it has a skin, and this is the only skin it has right now. Uh, so yeah, if you're, if you're a redeemer user, this is a nice little switcheroo to the skin. And we have the Sands of Norris blueprint. Not much to say there. <laughs> um, but yeah guys, this is the 81st rotation of Broker Tier of 2018. And so yeah, this is pretty much it. If you like or found this video to be very helpful, or at least interesting, please leave a like, comment, or even a sub. And that will help me so much for future content. Uh, but yeah, that's it guys. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a good one.